Hey, what's up guys, it's Anarchy46, and today I have a tutorial about Tesseracts and the basics of them. So we have the Liquid Tesseract, the Item Tesseract, and the Energy Tesseract. Now these Tesseracts can basically teleport fuel, items, pretty much anything that pertains to energy, items, and liquid. Now, as you can see, they don't really look a whole lot different besides their little color differentiation, but how you craft it is you start with the Tesseract frame, as you can see, it only really takes one diamond, which isn't all that bad, consideration you're teleporting things. And then you take that Tesseract frame and turn it into the unattuned Tesseract. Now you need a liquid transposer, and you put the Molten Ender into the Tesseract frame, which then will give you the unattuned Tesseract. Now if you're wondering how to make this uh, Molten Ender, which basically what you do is you use a Magma Crucible, and a liquid transposer, and which is both powered with MJ. As you can see, you um, see the MJ. You put your Ender Pearls into the Magma Crucible, and then the Magma Crucible will form the Molten Ender, which is then transferred over to the liquid transposer. And as you can see, that is just building up. So what you do is you put your uh, your Tesseract frame into the liquid transposer and then once the recipes or not the recipes, the um, molten ender is all the way into the frame it will give you the unattuned tesseract so once the uh, molten ender is done being filled into it there you go that's the unattuned tesseract now these unattuned tesseracts can then be specialized into the liquid tesseract the item Tesseract and the Energy Tesseract. So you can see the recipe for the Liquid Tesseract. It's really all, not all that bad. You can use uh, co you just need copper, some silver, and tin. So you can use either one. And then you need the Pneumatic Servo and your Unattuned Tesseract. Now the Pneumatic Servo, I think that's how you're supposed to say it. It's pretty cheap. You just need some iron, redstone, glass. Not all that expensive. It's pretty cheap. So then what you do next, or here's the recipe for the item tesseract, just a tin, silver tin, once again the pneumatic servo, energy tesseract, the only difference is you need a, a redstone conductant coil, so you need some electrum ingot redstone, not all that bad. So first I'm going to be showing you the item tesseract. So as you can see, what you can do is basically teleport items to anywhere. So what you have is a chest, for example, with diamonds, um, which is just for this tutorial. And then you put the items into this Tesseract. Um, and then they will be sent to the other Tesseract into your new chest or new piping, whatever. Um, this can be teleported anywhere. So when you what you do is you click on your Tesseract. And this is the item tesseract. You, I have it set to frequency 2, so you just type in 2, and then hit the check mark. And I already have it on frequency 2. And then on the configuration, I have it set to send only, which is pretty important. Because you're going to be sending items outbound. And some people may confuse it with, you're putting items in it, but you're sending items outbound out of this tesseract over to this Tesseract, which is receiving the items. And then, so yeah, you keep it both on frequency 2, and then receive only. So then it's going to receive the items. So let's test that out. Put on the redstone engine, pump some diamonds. So then these... Uh, Diamonds will be pumped through and into this Tesseract and then into this chest. Now you can have this anywhere in the world, they don't necessarily have to be any bit close, it will work perfectly fine. So next we have the Liquid Tesseract, pretty much works the same way, just set it to a frequency and then your configuration. Make sure that one's on send only since that's going outbound and then this one is on receive. So as you can see I accidentally put it on send only you have to make sure it is on receive only, both on frequency 1, as you can see. Now the liquid is being 
transferred wirelessly, you could say, over to that uh, tank. Let's uh, flow some liquid out, right, it's an engine, pump it out of the, the iron tank. And you could, this is pretty useful because you could have it set up with a, uh, a pump and send water to your base, or lava, or, or oil, and you don't have to set up this long, you know, gross cable or piping that takes forever to hook up. You can just use these tesseracts, which is a lot easier, uh, so much faster. And I, I think this is probably the most useful part of the tesseracts, basically teleporting liquid. Pretty awesome. So next we have the energy tesseract. And keep in mind, you can only send MJ units through energy tesseracts. You can't use EU. So what I have set up is a solar panels, an electrical engine which converts the EU into MJs, and then I have some um, golden conductive pipe, and this is just a storage unit. Um, you don't really need that there. Um, it's not it's not really needed, but if you don't have the Tesseract set up initially, what you can do is just put down that MJ um, storage so that the redstone conductive pipes don't explode because if you don't have that there then there's going to be too much MJ in one pipe and it'll just burst um, so I just I just put that there you really I guess you really don't need it you could just have it um, with straight um, redstone conductive piping so let's go back over to buildcraft um, and get to the golden conductive pipes so as you can see, it will still send the MJ. So as you can see, one of one of them already burst, so you gotta keep them placed. That so now the MJ is being sent through this energy tesseract on frequency three, send only once again, and being received by this energy tesseract on frequency three again, receive only, and then is going to be transferred to this. Um, redstone energy cell, which is basically just storing up all this MJ. It's almost kind of like a battery box um, for EU, but it's for MJ. So, yeah, that is Tesseracts. They are pretty awesome. You can teleport energy, teleport items, teleport liquids. I think they're one of the most useful things from the uh, Thermal Expansion mod. I really like them. So... Um, if this helped you out, give me a like, comment if you have any questions, favorite it if you really like this video. Um, thanks for watching. See ya.